hope uh, all of you are finding yourself in best of your health so today we will again solve a question from a partial differential equation we have this question in front of us so as we know that this question is of the form pp plus q q equals to r so you can easily identify what is your p what is your q and what is your r from this equation and so we can uh, move ahead uh, by writing what we called uh, the auxiliary equation in lagrange's method or subsidiary equation sometimes so what is our auxiliary equation that is dx by p p is z square minus 2yz minus y square this equals to dy by q which is xy plus zx and uh, let's uh, write the third which is dz divided by r which is xy minus zx uh, are this uh, three questions sufficient for us uh, let's see whether they are i'm not getting a strong motivation by seeing the first equation because we have dx and we have z also we have y also so and uh, if you look at this second and the third equation of course you have x which you don't want but this can be eliminated by taking x common so my first choice will be the second and the third equation so let's move ahead with that so we have dy divided by let's see we can take x common and it will be y plus z and we have dz divided by again we can take x common this will be y minus z x to be omitted no uh, cross just cross without thinking much y dy minus z dy equals to y dz plus z dz okay now uh, bring everything in the left hand side and see uh, whether we can manage something so y dy minus z dy plus y dz sorry minus y dz and minus z dz y dy perfectly fine z dz again perfectly fine and z dy y dz can you recall of something if you take minus sign common can you recall of this thing d of x y this is x as it is that of y is dy plus y as it is that of x is dx simple so if you take this terms y dy minus z dz and from this two, if you can take minus sign common, so you are left with z dy, z dy plus y dz. Of course, uh, this is equal to zero because I have bring everything to the left hand side. Now, this is d of x, uh, z y or y z, whatever you want to say, and uh, this as it is, so y dy minus z dz minus d of y z z y whatever you say now from here we can integrate both sides so if you integrate this so integration of y dy is y square by 2 that of z dz is z square by 2 that of uh, d of y z is simply y z equals to let's say some constants uh, y square minus z square minus 2yz equals to 2c. 2c can be written as some other constant. Now this equation brings suddenly a lot of smile in my face. Why I am saying that y square minus z square minus 2yz. Have you seen this anywhere? y square minus z square minus 2yz. 
y square minus z square k uh, I have but there is a uh, sign difference with z square you don't have a minus sign k fine okay so let's uh, leave this equation this is your first equation yeah it will be used in our final solution but uh, i thought if uh, this would have been some y square minus z square minus uh, then would would have been uh, a bit easy for us but anyway now we have to go for the method of multiplier because that is the only way left because these equations are no way important this two uh, was useful otherwise uh, it's not useful to us so for multipliers uh, each fraction will be equal to now what is the basic concept of multiplier let me introduce uh, that to you you have 1 by 2 you have 2 by 4 and you have uh, let's suppose 6 by uh, sorry 3 by 6 these three are equal isn't it now if you add numerator either in this way only or by multiplying both the numbers by same uh, let's say you multiply uh, each numerator and denominator in first fraction by 2 in second by 3 in third by 4 that way also work simply this is multiplied by 1 1 1 you can think of that and if you add them so 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 2 plus 4 plus 6 so this is 6 by 12 again this is also equal to half so this is the main concept of method of multiplier that if you add numerator and denominator by multiplying uh, each fraction by some constant in numerator and denominator no change will going to happen and but you are going to get a new fraction this is in terms of constant so it is not looking that much useful that, but in terms of variables it is a way more useful so how can we uh, go ahead with that uh, we have z square here can we try x y z as a multiplier uh, let's check whether that works or not so if I multiply this by x, so I will get xz square minus 2xyz minus y square x. Multiplying this by y, xy square plus xyz. Multiplying this by z, so xyz minus z square x. So xz square is gone and uh, and 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 uh, I uh, totally confused sometimes between uh, 2 and x so this was 2yz multiplied by x so it was 2xyz so Okay, fine. So xyz plus xyz minus 2xyz. So this is also gone. xy square and xy square gone. So this is giving me 0. So uh, I can say that each fraction, each of the three fraction which we are having is equal to what was my multiply it was x y z so x dx plus y dy plus z dz divided by 0 because if you are going to write the same thing in denominator and this is equal to 0 so 0 so each fraction is equal to this now it doesn't matter what you take uh, either you take this each fraction so I am taking this any fraction you take it doesn't matter because it is anyway going to be multiplied by 0. So x dx plus y dy plus z dz. Most of us directly in, uh, write this equation. 
we don't equate this because we know that equating will only give us right hand side as zero only so x dy plus y d x dx sorry plus y dy plus z dz equals to zero if you integrate this so you are going to get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equals to let's say any constant a and if you write this uh, by multiplying both side by 2 so this is 2a 2a can be treated as some other constant let's say c2 so there you get your equation number 2 okay so if i uh, want to write my final solution so that will be phi of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 okay so phi of what is my c1 that is y square minus z square minus 2yz y square minus z square minus 2yz and what is the second one x square plus y square plus z square this is my final solution i hope you are able to see this uh, because this board is straight touching the floor so i'm not able to write properly so this is uh, it uh, y square minus z square minus 2yz and uh, x square plus y square plus z square equals to zero now the basic thing was again a very very easy thing uh, take uh, try to make a two equation and for making two equation if these three fractions are not sufficient try to generate fractions by yourself with the help of multipliers and the basic concept of multiplier is this which you have must have read in junior classes if not you understood it today so i eliminated x from here uh, simplified it integrated and got the first required equation for second these were not no more useful so i made another fraction which was this denominator was zero made our life a lot easier because i just integrated this numerator to get our second required fraction and uh, last phi of c1 comma c2 this is a very very easy thing to do uh, thinking of multiplier is i think the only uh, possible difficulty which you face in this type of problem otherwise this problem was far too easy i hope you enjoyed it thanks and have a very nice day